But the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, in collaboration with the Alimosha Local Government, Igbe Idumu, and Ikotri Godo Local Council Development Areas, have organized a program to sensitize the people on the dangers of silence in the face of sexual and gender based violence. The sensitization program took place in the Alimosha Local Government Area. Our correspondent Paul George reports. Gathered in the hall are mostly women and a few men adorned in t-shirts with the inscription, It's on us. They will come out to listen and get more information on different forms of sexual violence. This is, this is like the first phase of our project at the local government. But we are coming back to also train the WAPA people and also the CDCs and CDA chairmen recently. Uh, I can say vividly that on an average, we get a case of nothing less than 10, nothing less than 10 uh, survivors who walk to the office and also who report via the virtual referral platform. The facilitator, Bosse Inronsi, says gone are the days when women will keep quiet in the face of threats to life. She speaks alongside others. The community people need to understand. They need knowledge. They need information to understand what is going on. They need effective reporting pathways for them to be able to know what to do when they do, when they are affected in one form or the other. Some people want justice. There are some people they don't really want. Just, they don't just want anything. It's their choice. But when it comes to children, parents don't have a choice than to report that case so that the government can take it over. The purpose of this gathering is to enlighten our men, our women on child abuse and sexual violence. We have some people that have lost their life, they've lost their dignity, they don't have anybody to report to, they don't know what to do, they are ashamed. That's why we come out to enlighten people, to give them confidence of speaking out whenever they experience any difficulty, any abuse, any violence, so that the government can come to their aid. The first thing is to sensitize the citizenry that they should see something, say something, and do something immediately. We should also include the law enforcement agencies by sensitizing them that once this happens, they don't need to body shame the victim because sometimes we've had argument that uh, because women are walking naked, that's why they're being raped. But what about the case of a three-year-old or a one-year-old where they're walking naked? To nip domestic violence in the board, those affected are encouraged to speak up at the sight of a threat. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.